That's right, Kelly. He climbed out, but he didn't escape without injury. We're told that the pilot suffered burns to both his body and face. But when you actually look at the wreckage, you can see that this could have ended up much worse. Flight turned to fire. Moments after touching down at the Nevada County Airport, this hand-built experimental airplane crashed into a parked plane and caught fire. I'm very surprised. I thought for sure he was done. The pilot, identified by friends as 75-year-old Van Anthony, barely escaped around 4.30 in the afternoon, climbing out on his own. Paramedics flew him by helicopter to UC Davis Medical Center, where he's being treated for burn injuries. Anthony built the plane himself, devoting countless hours piecing it together. He was uh, uh, learning the plane and it was still within his 40 hours before it would be certified to, to go anywhere. The pilot initially landed on the runway, but he lost control. You can see he took out this sign here before going ahead and knocking over this taxi light. He then veered off and ended up on the parking ramp. When firefighters arrived, both planes were on fire. It's not clear what caused the crash, but the plane's landing gear stayed intact throughout. He was landing and uh, landed hard and then uh, Something something happened after that, and he was he was along for the ride, basically. Looking at the wreckage, friend Bruce Marlowe calls Anthony's survival miraculous. He did well to get out of that aircraft in a timely fashion. I'm I'm sure right now he's probably not feeling that, but he did well to get out of that. An escape that likely saved his life. The plane needed more flight time before it could go anywhere, so Anthony was required to stick close to the airport. I spoke with a nurse at UC Davis Medical Center who told me that Anthony is in the emergency room, but he's in stable condition. Reporting live in Grass Valley, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. Certainly.